Hi, I'm Launders, and today we'll be talking about how to perform a solo reverse boost on the CD side of cash at mid. One thing to note before we start is that this self boost requires basic knowledge of how to airstrafe in CSGO, and if you need to learn that first, you can go ahead and check out this video before we start. Okay, now that you know how to air strafe, we're going to want to break this jump down into two parts. Part 1 will be from the overhang to the electrical box, and part 2 will be from the electrical box to the air conditioning unit. Once these two jumps are done, you'll be able to do a simple jump up on the roof and from there flank terrorists rushing a main, or simply hold for information, get a kill, or fall off. To perform part 1 of this boost, you want to first get on the overhang, run until you reach the very end of it, and do a nice wide strafe onto the electrical box. The trick here is to make sure that when you hit the jump, you are as close to the far end of the overhang as you can get and not too close to the wall so that you don't hit the corner when you strafe. On default competitive settings, you have to be very careful about how hard you turn, otherwise you will lose a lot of speed. So it's very important that when you do this jump, you give yourself enough room to do a nice wide turn so that you can get it done in one smooth motion. The second part of this boost is just another strafe jump, but where people mess up most often is when they don't back up far enough and end up jumping before they have enough speed to make it to the AC unit consistently. Using this lineup while crouching, you can practice doing it slowly and speed it up as you become more accustomed to how much space you have to back up before falling off of the e-box. So again, just like in the first jump, start as far back as you can, run forward, jump, and crouch as you're about to land, and that's it. This is going to be the first in a series of remakes of the competitive self-boost tutorials I did last year, with a little bit more production value and hopefully clearer explanations as to how to get some of these difficult self-boosts down pat. If you like what you watch, leave a like, hit that sub button if you haven't, and click here to watch my latest Top Frag talk where I discuss the question of how to get noticed as a player. Thanks for watching.